Uh, anyway, uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, thank you very much for uh, accepting my proposal to shift the class. Actually, uh, today uh, was the uh, historic day for uh, the undergrad student. For the first time, they attended uh, online lecture. Uh, today, uh, in my course, out of 94 students, 92 students participated. Uh, and they were very much excited because uh, for a long time, due to uh, COVID-19 pandemic, they were confined in the home and it is really a, a boring life. Now uh, they are connected to uh, the university uh, through online. Uh, we have lots of still limitation uh, about, uh, especially the uh, internet speed and uh, access to the internet uh, from the remote area. Uh, but even though uh, as the pandemic uh, is uh, uncertain uh, when it will be end, we don't know. Uh, this is why we cannot waste our valuable time. Uh, and it is better to uh, try uh, to keep on tra track. Uh, how about your impression uh, regarding the environmental biotechnology, the lectures I delivered. Uh, uh, do you have any question uh, from uh, any previous lectures that you uh, couldn't follow? Uh, because I uploaded the lecture uh, PowerPoint file as well as uh, the uh, YouTube uh, video, video uh, in the YouTube uh, so that you can uh, repeat or if you missed any class you can uh, follow the lecture and you can uh, repeat it at a, 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 a listen a, as many times as you need so uh, I, I, my question is whether you have any uh, uh, push, uh, question regarding my any previous lectures You can ask me any question. Uh, uh, I can allow you uh, two minutes time and then we shall go for the lecture. No question? Uh, what does it mean? You understood nothing? Sir, <laughs> sir, our uh, uh, yes, chilo, sir, question chilo. Yes. Uh, Stoichometric uh, math sir. Actually, when you do the math, uh, usually we can see the a periodic table uh, uh, to know the exact uh, 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 mass of the uh, uh, element. But uh, if it is 58.5 uh, uh, or like that, no problem. Uh, what I will uh, uh, try to see whether you understood the uh, uh, science or not. Uh, so uh, in the math, even uh, uh, in the Western country and everywhere, the molecular weight or mass can uh, is a given so no need to memorize uh, the molecular weight of uh, iron and any uh, manganese or zinc or any other thing thank you any other question Sir, we the apni amader math related ekta assignment er moto dite chechilen oi je bolechen sir amra o khane ki sir ei mane je math gulo slide e ache sir oi pattern e practice korbo naki sir onnanno kono mane er moddhe thekeo sir onnanno pattern hote pare math er o gulo sir actually you know stoichiometry thermodynamics uh, there, there are some topics related to environmental biotechnology uh, so I want to give you the fundamental understanding and not uh, go uh, in depth, uh, you know, a very critical uh, study. So if you know the basics and, uh, you know, the examples I gave uh, in the uh, PowerPoint slides, a similar uh, uh, 
uh, you know, uh, question uh, I will put in uh, the, uh, you know, at your exam paper. So no worry. Thank you, sir. Any other? Sumaya? Sumaya Talukdar, can you listen me? Assalamualaikum, sir. Yes, sir. Do you have any question? Mm, no, sir. Okay. Fatima, can you listen me? Yes, sir. Fatima, yes, can sir. you hear me? Yes, sir, I'm hearing you. Uh, any question? Uh, no, sir. If uh, no question, uh, we question. shall uh, start uh, from our, you know, uh, old lecture that is uh, biosafety issues because uh, 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 a part of the lecture uh, remain to be uh, discussed. Yes. Uh, as you are a student of uh, biotechnology and genetic engineering, uh, you need to use the biologically, uh, biological safety cabinets. Biological safety cabinets, uh, the main purpose to use uh, those cabinets to, uh, uh, you know, uh, product protection, personal protection, and environmental protection. Uh, we, uh, in most of the time, we use microorganisms as well as some other, other hazardous materials uh, in the biological safety cabinets uh, to protect us from the, uh, uh, you know, uh, any hazard as well as to protect the environment uh, uh, and uh, obviously the protect the uh, uh, the materials that we are using. For example, if you use microorganism inside the cabinet, uh, then uh, you can avoid the contamination uh, uh, by the environmental microorganisms. Uh, biological safety cabinets, there are, uh, you know, uh, mainly three types or four types. Uh, class one type, uh, biological safety cabinets, uh, inward airflow protects workers. That means uh, airflow coming from the uh, cabinet towards you so that, uh, you know, uh, and adjust to outside. Uh, there is a HEPA filter uh, for, uh, uh, you know, filtering the, uh, any partic particulate and others. Class two cabinet, worker product and environmental protection. S uh, sterile work area use for work with aerosol transmissible microorganisms. Even COVID-19, uh, um, the uh, SARS-CoV-2, uh, most of the uh, diagnostic lab, they use uh, uh, class two cabinet. Uh, use for work with aerosol transmissible microorganisms. You know, uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2 is a, an aerosol transmissible uh, microorganisms. Use also for tissue culture uh, uh, virology. Uh, tissue culture or virology. So virus culture or tissue culture, as I mentioned, uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, this is very uh, good. Class three cabinet, totally enclosed, ventilated airtight, suitable for work with uh, BCL uh, biosafety level, uh, three or four agents, uh, genetically engineered uh, materials or some, uh, you know, highly, uh, uh, sensitive or uh, uh, materials uh, uh, so that uh, no way to uh, contaminate the environment as well as the, uh, uh, you know, laboratory uh, worker that is researcher. So biological safety cabinet already I mentioned. Yes. Uh, Biological safety cabinet, uh, there are uh, in uh, class two, there are type one, type B3, type B1, type B2. There are several uh, types, depending on the uh, adjusted uh, uh, to room uh, uh, or adjusted to outside. So these are the uh, specification. HEPA filter in uh, biological safety, uh, uh, safety cabinets, 
we use a filter uh, at the top uh, uh, and it is called HEPA filter, high efficiency particulate air Filt, uh, uh, filter. Uh, it, it is a high efficiency particulate air filter. HEPA filter stands for high efficiency particulate air filter. And it traps particulates only, chemicals, fumes, vapors pass through it. Uh, traps particulate uh, size is 0.3 micrometer uh, uh, or uh, uh, higher. HEPA filter, uh, it is, uh, you can see the image, metal or wood framed and continuous sheet of uh, flat filter medium with aluminum uh, separators. Gasket sealed adhesive bond between filter pack and uh, a frame to trap the particulate. Uh, Operating location isolated from other workers, uh, removed from high traffic areas, away from airflow ducts, away from laboratory entry doors. That means when you set a biological safety cabinet, you must remember this full, uh, you know, principle. Uh, because uh, if you are working on a biological safety cabinet and suddenly someone open the door, airflow can enter uh, into the cabinet and uh, just like a big wave and it would, you know, uh, uh, contaminate your, uh, uh, you know, materials that you are using. So no meaning. This is why uh, usually clean air room, room uh, should be maintained when some, uh, especially in the uh, biological safety cabinet room, uh, is specially separated from the other uh, research lab so that uh, you can maintain the air flow and uh, contamination from other. And typical uh, uh, class two cabinet is like this. Here you can see uh, there is an exhaust, uh, there is a, a filter, there is a pump. So uh, you see uh, intake uh, 100 feet per minute. So uh, the air flow is inside, not coming out to your uh, body. Uh, operating procedure, load uh, biosafety cabinet uh, with all needed supplies first time when you uh, do the job and uh, turn biosafety cabinet on and allow to turn for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, uh, it, uh, you have to allow uh, and uh, check inward airflow with a piece of tissue, uh, enter straight into a cabinet and perform work in a slow and methodical manner. At the end of work, decontaminate all items to be taken out of the cabinet. And you need to clean by using, you know, uh, uh, ethanol we use uh, the full cabinet and uh, decontaminate interior of biosafety cabinet, allow cabinet to run for 10 to 15 minutes and shut off the door. So this is the principle uh, in uh, some cases, sometimes uh, laboratory worker uh, in a hurry. So uh, they uh, miss uh, uh, two and uh, uh, seven, these two points uh, they are, that are very important. And usually in biosafety uh, cabinets, uh, when you stop working and complete your job, uh, shut down the, uh, you know, window and the, uh, if window is UV protecting, uh, otherwise you can use UV, UV protecting uh, screen and then uh, on the UV light uh, so that if uh, there is remaining any microorganism, they are being killed and uh, it uh, uh, needs, you know, around 20 minutes and after 20 minutes, another person can work. Otherwise, contamination uh, would be a big problem. So to avoid contamination, we have to do uh, uh, such thing. Uh, safe operation always enters straight into the cabinet, no sweeping motion. Uh, place materials well within the cabinet, not in front uh, grill. Uh, place uh, uh, discard uh, pen within the cabinet. Watch for uh, disruptions of laminar airflow. Uh, decontaminate materials before uh, uh, removal from the uh, you know uh, cabinet. 
uh, these are the uh, important points when you use uh, you have to follow and uh, not designed for chemical use uh, actually it may use for non volatile toxic chemicals or low level radioactive materials may use minute amounts of volatile chemicals ensure annual certification place all work materials into cabinet before starting the job so you cannot you know during uh, working you cannot bring many things from outside and move uh, no uh, first place all the things uh, inside the cabinet oh what it is going uh, back every time a uh, caution chemicals may damage hepa filter so uh, 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 all the chemicals you cannot use they are uh, too volatile compounds in that case you have to use other wood exposure risk chemical or infectious agents there is a uh, risk so if you uh, do not wear the gloves or if uh, uh, there is a cut uh, in your finger or uh, hand or any uh, injury uh, then it would be problematic volatile chemicals not uh, retained by hepa filter exposes personnel if not exhausted uh, biosafety cabinets fan not spark proof uh, so chemicals used may result in fire or explosion never use uh, uh, any nfpa uh, 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 for uh, flammables that is there are some flammable uh, substances uh, 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 too much if you use for example ethanol too much if you use inside or some other organic solvent if concentration is high uh, even from your munchen burner or gas burner uh, it may cause a uh, fire so uh, because uh, they are not adjusted readily uh, it, 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 you have to uh, uh, you know uh, uh, consider and uh, centrifuge uh, in the biosafety level uh, cabinet micro centrifuge uh, you can use uh, up to this speed uh, low or high speed or ultra centrifuge even uh, uh, 120000 uh, rpm you can use and uh, sometimes we need to use uh, uh, you know centrifuge inside the uh, uh, safety cabinet if uh, uh, you know materials are hazardous uh, hazards mechanical failure of uh, machine lab equipments failure aerosol generation operator error many things uh, uh, during uh, centrifugation can happen so you have to be careful when you open the lid of the centrifuge machine and uh, micro centrifuges already i discussed ah uh, yes uh, check tubes for uh, cracks or chips when you put the uh, centrifuge tube whether there is any crack or chips or uh, whether uh, all the tubes should uh, um, you know contain equal volume of uh, uh, the materials and uh, the lock Uh, um, some of the cent uh, centrifuge, uh, 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 you know, uh, Eppendorf contain the lock, so you have to lock it. Use meshed sets uh, of tubes, buckets, etc. Tightly seal all tubes and safety uh, cups. Ensure that uh, rotor is locked to spindle uh, and bucket seated. That means uh, how to use a centrifuge machine. Close lid during operation. Allow to. come to complete stop before uh, uh, opening so these are uh, the precautions or procedures uh, you must follow when you use a centrifuge machine we have uh, several centrifuge machines so whenever you use centrifuge machine you must follow uh, these things so uh, as uh, use safety caps whenever possible already i uh, these and in fact weekly or after all a uh, spills or uh, breakages lubricate uh, you know uh, o ring or rotor threads because uh, otherwise if lubrication is not enough uh, uh, during uh, rotor is moving sometimes friction can cause problem do not use rotors that have been dropped uh, contact your centrifuge uh, red uh, rep uh, for uh, uh, specific information so uh, uh, specially Uh, the, the every uh, uh, centrifuge machine there is a guideline uh, or instruction guide so you have to follow so laboratory housekeeping good housekeeping is essential uh, reducing risk 
protecting the integrity actually lab manager to uh, do this job but uh, uh, in our case we have no uh, lab manager so student when work they have to maintain their things uh, very nicely keep the laboratory neat and free of uh, you know uh, uh, clutter outside the biosafety cabinet clear area of all personnel weight uh, all personnel should be should uh, be uh, uh, you know uh, with um, a gown a laboratory gown or laboratory coat wait at least 15 minutes for aerosol to settle before entering spill area remove any contaminated clothing and place in hazardous bag uh, uh, biohazard bag uh, to be autoclaved so every materials we used uh, you know micro microbes related materials if it is not uh, you know um, uh, human uh, pathogenic all pathogenic materials when you use they must be uh, autoclave uh, even in the culture media if you culture fungus or bacteria you must autoclave them so that you can kill them put on a disposable gown uh, safety glasses and gloves uh, when you use uh, the biosafety cabinet to keep you uh, safe and biohazardous uh, spills sometimes you know coming out from the uh, cabinet or even centrifuges you have to uh, be very careful uh, initiate cleanup with disinfectant as follows place dry paper towel on spill and then uh, layer a second set of disinfectant soaked paper towels uh, over the spill uh, and circle the spill with additional disinfectant being careful uh, to minimize the aerosolization while assuring uh, adequate contact. Uh, decontaminate all items within spill area. Allow minimum of 15 minutes contact time to ensure a germicidal action of the disinfectant. For example, if you are using any disinfectant, ethanol or you know, uh, any other uh, uh, disinfectant, uh, you must uh, uh, allow 15 minutes to kill all the organism. Uh, wipe equipment with appropriate disinfectant, discard contaminated disposable materials uh, using appropriate biohazardous waste disposal procedure, uh, for example, autoclave, uh, autoclave or other, you know, um, uh, special bag, uh, disinfect, uh, uh, you know, uh, reusable uh, items, for example, glass, glass wires. Uh, if you use a petri dish or glass petri dish or, uh, you know, um, Erlenmeyer flask or a pipette or something like that. So you need to autoclave them. Inside the biosafety cabinet, wait at least five minutes to allow the biosafety cabinet to contain aerosol. Uh, oil lab coat, uh, uh, safety glasses and gloves during cleanup. Allow cabinet to run during cleanup. Apply disinfectant and allow a minimum of 15 minutes contact time wipe uh, uh, up spillage uh, uh, with disposable disinfectant soaked paper towel place use cleanup items in the appropriate biohazard uh, waste container so that uh, they do not contaminate the, our uh, general you know uh, 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 waste so um, wipe the walls work surface any equipment in the cabinet with disinfectant soaked paper towel discard contaminated disposable materials using appropriate biohazardous waste disposal procedure uh, for example autoclave place contaminated reusable items in biohazard bags already exposed non autoclave uh, materials to disinfect and uh, 15 minutes contact time before removal from the biosafety cabinet so uh, remove protective clothing uh, used during cleanup and place in a biohazard bag for autoclaving. Run cabinet 10 minutes after cleanup before re resuming work or turning cabinet uh, off. Uh, this is important. So a uh, clean area for all personnel inside the cabinet. Wait 30 minutes for aerosol or settle before attempting to clean up spill. So these are the uh, you know precautions you must follow. Uh, uh, and laboratory inspection every two years, actually, uh, in the Western countries and in the developed countries, uh, there is laboratory infection, inspection uh, mandatory so that all the, you know, safety uh, uh, measures are appropriate or not. And uh, those who are principal investigator uh, of the department or laboratory or the project, uh, 
uh, or lab manager, they, uh, their information uh, must be, uh, all the laboratory members, all information, uh, uh, phone number, name, uh, other information should be uh, listed in a paper uh, and uh, it should be uh, put in, in the door or inside the door of the uh, laboratory. And uh, obviously uh, other, you know, laboratory uh, 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 manuals, safety manuals uh, uh, should, uh, every laboratory should have a laboratory safety manual so that uh, all the protocols and standard operating procedures of the uh, equipments uh, uh, in, uh, should be in detail uh, so that uh, uh, the newcomer uh, can get uh, uh, the uh, all information and can follow strictly uh, the uh, you know uh, uh, the precaution uh, so that no uh, accident or uh, no hazardous uh, uh, event is taken place. Uh, things uh, we will expect and look for airflow. Uh, from a lower uh, lower hazard uh, to higher hazard areas, designated clean area, all the things uh, should be neat and clean, and uh, uh, these are the things you know uh, the inspector can check. Uh, uh, things will be expect and look for decontamination by safety cabinet. <laughs> these are the things not so interesting, but you know uh, near the biosafety level uh, uh, cabinet, uh, nearby room, uh, there should be a autoclave. Uh, and uh, thing, okay. And these are uh, all about uh, the, you know, uh, biosafety laboratory uh, uh, procedures uh, 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 because we al always consider uh, safety first, uh, safety of the uh, uh, laboratory workers and whatever the important research uh, are you doing, uh, uh, you, you are not at all allowed uh, to you know, contaminate the laboratory environment and make it hazardous for others as well as yours. So your safety is first, uh, safety of the laboratory personnel is first and laboratory must be clean and uh, uh, we mu uh, must be as serious uh, in, uh, uh, when we are working in the lab. There is no way of, uh, uh, you know, uh, becoming careless and ne never allowed to receive any telephone call or uh, to take any food or invite friends to see you research in the laboratory. So these are very, very strict, uh, and not only in our laboratory, all over the world. So when you enter a laboratory, you have to uh, uh, keep in mind that you are uh, now uh, uh, detached from the other world uh, and uh, you, uh, you have to concentrate 100% to your work. Uh, otherwise, microbiological work, molecular work, you will make a mistake and you will uh, uh, make, uh, uh, you know, uh, the cause of uh, uh, hazard. Uh, and uh, this is why uh, every uh, developed countries before entering a lab, I mentioned before, uh, every member must have uh, to get a training. So I think this would be one of the training for you. And I expect lots of questions from you because uh, we, uh, after COVID-19, uh, I am expecting to see you in the uh, laboratory. Uh, so you can ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid uh, uh, of, uh, you know, laboratory uh, would not harm you if you are careful. And not only you are careful, uh, around you, everyone should be careful. Well, whatever the, uh, you know, a job you are doing, uh, you should level your even uh, autoclave to water uh, flask very properly, put your name, date, what is it, its name. Uh, and uh, put into the right place. Whenever you use any chemicals, any materials, never put on the desk, uh, put it on the right place. Uh, and, uh, 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 and the right place uh, uh, on the right time. Uh, and you cannot go out by opening and running a biosafety level uh, cabinet and come back again. No, no, no way, not allowed. Uh, this is why uh, in Japan, uh, when someone enter into uh, a, a clean air zone, uh, 
uh, that means to work uh, uh, in a microbiology lab or use uh, microbiosafety uh, uh, cabinets. In that case, uh, they switch off uh, their phone and keep the phone uh, uh, outside. Uh, so that, uh, and they call it Tehana uh, Sanai, that means totally disconnected from outside. And uh, it is very, very important. And all the, you know, microbiologists, biotechnologists all over the world follow this strict rule uh, to keep free from the hazard. Uh, uh, if you want to solve any big problem in our society, for example, want to do research uh, on COVID uh, to mitigate this uh, uh, pandemic uh, causing a pathogen. And if you are yourself uh, uh, contaminated, then it is meaningless because you want to uh, uh, solve this problem. Uh, if you become a problem, then uh, it, it is no good. Uh, thank you very much and you can ask some question let us discuss uh, a little more uh, detail because some of you possibly have started uh, uh, some laboratory work uh, and uh, you know uh, if you make a mistake you know careless mistake it may uh, result in serious consequences so uh, uh, you uh, in the uh, uh, microbiology lab uh, or biotechnology lab uh, beforehand you uh, uh, you have to be uh, uh, you know uh, careful and go through all the uh, procedures uh, uh, of the uh, precautionary procedures to keep you free from the hazard to keep you free from uh, others as well as to clean the lab from uh, any danger so you can ask now some questions Sir. Sir. Yes. Sir, uh, today's class was very clear to me, but one point I did not get. Uh, can, uh, can you uh, close your microphone? Yes, sir. Yeah. So is it clear now? Yeah. Uh, sir, today's class was very clear to me, but one point I did not uh, get. That is, um, in everywhere, the media um, is telling us that uh, wait at least 15 minutes um, after uh, closing the um, device or anything. Uh, why uh, uh, everywhere 15 minutes is required? Is there any uh, importance of 15 minutes, sir? Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, actually, when you use a, a cabinet, biosafety level uh, two cabinet, for example, someone worked uh, with a bacteria and you want to work uh, with uh, uh, your fungus. So uh, there is a high chance of, uh, uh, you know, uh, having uh, the uh, bacteria uh, which are handled inside the cabinet uh, in the uh, aerosol form and other forms. So if you, uh, uh, you know, on the switch of uh, UV for 15 minutes, then you will get, uh, you know, completely a microbes free, germ free cabinet. So uh, then if you work uh, with your fungus, then uh, there will be no contamination. Otherwise I found most of our young and new researchers, when they start the work, they always complain, they get the contamination because uh, they do not abide by the uh, you know, 15 minutes or a, 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 a considerable amount of time uh, gap uh, to start the new job. Uh, this is one point. Another point is that any machine, any machine, uh, uh, when you run, uh, uh, you know, and if you uh, off it and uh, do not, uh, you know, uh, uh, switch on immediately, even your laptop, you should allow uh, several minutes uh, uh, to, uh, you know, completely uh, shut down and settle it, then uh, you uh, restart it. Uh, uh, so uh, this is also one of the important because uh, the uh, rotor and other machines are uh, functioning. So uh, immediately uh, uh, just switch on and switch off immediately. If you do, do it, then there is a, a high chance of uh, damage of the uh, machine also. 
So uh, uh, there are uh, several reasons and over the years of experiences, uh, 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 it, it, these uh, rules uh, are being uh, developed. Thank you. Fatima, nice question. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Uh, Jahid. Uh, sir, uh, uh, I mean, special, case, special cases uh, for that. I mean, which is more effective, UV or 70% ethanol for surface sterilization? Uh, you mean decontamination? Sir, so before 70% uh, ethanol, uh, we used to basically uh, remove uh, any airborne uh, contaminants from our hands and others. Uh, so 70% ethanols, uh, if you expose a, a, a normal uh, bacteria or fungal spores for 15 minutes, uh, they are easily uh, uh, killed, but not 100% guaranteed. But we can uh, uh, dramatically reduce the chance of contamination. Any other question? And 70% ethanol, if you use in your hand, it is safe, not uh, problematic. Uh, 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 to, uh, you know, getting touch in your skin uh, would not damage, so uh, yeah, acceptable. And ethanol uh, very quickly evaporate, uh, so would not uh, harm you. Yes, uh, uh, Sumaya. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, in the slide we see that uh, some uh, chemicals have uh, hazardous effect on hepatitis. So how can we understand which chemicals have this harmful effect on habitat and which has no? Yes, it is very important question. Uh, when you use any uh, chemicals, every chemicals, they have the, you know, uh, safety data. Uh, so um, we usually get, uh, get the uh, chemical from a different supplier. For example, Sigma, Waku, big company. So if uh, uh, with the uh, chemical package, uh, they uh, supply the uh, uh, safety data. And if it is not available, if you put the catalog number or chemicals name in the internet, uh, immediately you can get the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the level of hazards associated uh, with handling these uh, chemicals. And it is better to know. Uh, and most of the labor uh, laboratory, you know, laboratory manager or principal investigator, they know uh, those who have been using that chemicals. And if it is a new chemical, you must know uh, its safety data. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, you know, very small amount of chemical uh, can cause serious uh, uh, a problem, even, uh, you know, uh, can, uh, can be carcinogenic uh, and can cause uh, cancer. Uh, so uh, be careful about using any chemicals uh, without knowing uh, is uh, safety information. Thank you. It's very good question. Thank you, sir. Jinan, any question? Rahab, do you have any question? No, sir. No question. Jinan? Are you there? Okay. So uh, what I am thinking, uh, maybe uh, uh, you received lots of uh, lectures. Uh, I need to test uh, uh, you. Uh, in that case, as you are, uh, uh, it is a very small group. And uh, you know, always I consider uh, evaluating a student is a process of uh, uh, learning. Uh, learning by the students, also learning by the teachers. So in that case, uh, you know, your quiz exam are not uh, a true quiz uh, because university uh, uh, has given me uh, the freedom. Uh, so uh, I may ask you five questions, uh, each of you, a uh, small question and immediately uh, mark you. So uh, be prepared anytime, even uh, uh, before the lecture or after the lecture, I can evaluate you 
how much you are uh, uh, you know uh, uh, following uh, my lectures so uh, uh, be prepared a uh, quiz would be surprising and quiz question uh, uh, not uh, same for all one by one i can ask the question and i can evaluate no need you know uh, the structured uh, quiz question structured quiz quiz question also uh, at the end i shall uh, uh, do and as well as the you know midterm exam uh, but uh, uh, as group is small more interaction uh, is very important for example in an exam you do not know the answer of a question and it is foregone but uh, if you uh, uh, face to face interview uh, um, I can tell you the answer and even other persons who are listening, uh, uh, they can uh, learn. Our uh, uh, ultimate goal is uh, to learn more and, uh, you know, enrich us with uh, new knowledge and information and to make you a critical thinker because the job of university is not, you know, delivering uh, you all the a global mass of knowledge in environmental biotechnology and biosafety. If I throw all of the knowledge is available uh, in uh, this particular science, uh, it would be uh, too terrible for you. Rather, uh, I, my strategy is to uh, train you how to learn uh, new knowledge because the uh, knowledge uh, now available in the textbook maybe after 10 years, they will be obsolete. When you, you will be in the uh, job or in professional life, you will see uh, uh, completely new things, new information, new knowledge, and new technology. Uh, so adapt to the uh, new technology. Uh, how can you do it efficiently uh, should be the uh, best uh, objective of uh, the training at the university level. So uh, education should be like that, how better you can adapt to the changing environment, changing knowledge, and even you can participate in generating uh, new knowledge to contribute uh, to the society, to the particular field. Any question? Sir, uh, who is the question? Uh, the quiz? A uh, quiz can be, uh, you know, from any lecture because uh, it uh, must be, you know, very simple uh, uh, and basic uh, 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 question. Not uh, uh, tell me the temperature of certain uh, uh, a compound, uh, uh, you know, melting temperature of certain compound or like that. No, uh, uh, associated with the, you know, uh, the basic information that I delivers to you and that have the practical implications. I never, you know, make uh, any uh, quiz question. Even uh, when I, uh, uh, you know, uh, prepare the question papers, I always consider uh, uh, whether they are really uh, uh, have any practical importance or not. Not just, you know, stop you and make you fool. Rather, my job is to make you smart as, uh, and uh, the knowledge uh, 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 that you gain through uh, the process should be, uh, 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 you know, helpful for your life, uh, helpful for the society, helpful for the mankind. Uh, lots of uh, critical things and minute things are available in the, uh, you know, uh, in a subject, but you have no need to memorize all the things. There are some learning points, take home messages. I always focus all these things. Any question? Sir, actor Bishu sir, how much it is? Sir, our certificate, BS certificate, two or three sir, our campus is there, sir, one day. So, sir, if we would want to do sir, offer it, then our show will be there, sir. Next, when is it? Yes, sir. Next one. What kind of certificate? Sir, I'm under BS certificate, sir. I'm under BS pass for a course. I can certificate by nature, sir. So, sir, any state, sir, what are the height of it, sir? Okay. Okay, I will keep Wednesday free from lecture, so you may propose me another suitable day, and maybe we can arrange a how to say make up class later on. No problem. Okay, sir.
Yes. Thank you, sir. Sir. Any, any other? Sir, I have a topic related to question, sir. Sir, I have a device. Any kind of device radiation ki in our lab or in our experiment to hamper or hazard create? Sir, what radiation is there? Yes, uh, uh, yeah, uh, there is a, a, a chance. So, better uh, not to use any uh, you know, personal device inside the laboratory. So, it is strictly prohibited. Uh, I cannot specify which equipment may be affected or not, but uh, we have lots of equipments. So any uh, um, device which uh, generate electromagnetic wave may affect the, uh, you know, others uh, activity, others uh, equipment. So uh, not, uh, it is suggested not to use uh, uh, any personal uh, equipment or uh, uh, you know, a device inside the lab. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Yes, that, there is a, a chance. Thank you, sir. Sir, uh, back to the sign writers, I, safety equipment, in safety equipment, back to the sign writers is mentioned. Sir, what is it actually, sir? Uh, uh, pardon, can, uh, can you repeat it? Back to the sign writers. Huh? Bactin signators, sir. Uh, is safety bio e bactin signators. Signators. What is it? Sir, in safety equipment, in this slide, uh, here is safety equipment. One point is mentioned like this: Boons and Barners versus versus uh, bactin signators. What is the bactin signators, sir? Bactin. Yeah, spelling. B A C T I N C I N E R A T O R S. A bacteriocinerators. That means uh, if there is any bacteria, uh, so uh, you uh, you can kill them. So uh, uh, there are uh, some spray or some other, uh, you know, uh, uh, disinfectant materials, or even uh, you know inside the uh, clean bench. Uh, uh, some of the, um, uh, you know, uh, the ca uh, cabinet has the mechanism to uh, adsorb or, uh, you know, uh, 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 keep clean the inside uh, from the uh, uh, microorganism or other contamination like bacteria. Thank you, sir. Uh, welcome. Any other? If no question, then thank you very much.